people, beautiful people. What is good? What is good? What is good? Of course, you know who I be. Good Doc, Dr. Mike TV. Back again, once again. You should already know, ladies and gentlemen, this one is poised to be an instant classic in the making. First time to the channel, subscribe. Notify, do all the good things to make yourself well-versed in the good best content. All my good stuff listed in the link in the description area below. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing that I've noticed that foreigners really need to stop doing. When we go to when we go abroad and go to places like the Philippines and stuff like this. Again, I can honestly say that I am guilty of this as well. But I think that once the video goes on, you'll be able to pick up what I'm putting down in reference to one thing I think foreigners should really stop doing. We really have to stop comparing places like the Philippines to places in the West, right? We have this natural instinct of sorts to compare our environments, right? A lot of us, maybe not too happy about what's going on in our current situation in the West or whatever it may be, whatever your reason for is not necessarily liking where you are right now and wanting to move away. When you go to that other country, whatever country it is, you're always comparing, right? And what I've learned about comparing, and that could be, you know, the environment, dating the women in that country, etc. More specifically, dating women in that country. What I've learned is that a lot of foreigners tend to do these comparisons. And when you do these comparisons, you start to somewhat, in a general statement, overlook certain flaws, right? Because you have the tendency to say, well... At least it's not as bad as the West, right? At least it's not as bad as where I came from. And when you have that mindset, you tend to overlook minor shit, right? Let's say, for example, you're on a date with a young lady or something like that. And, you know, the example can be a multitude of different things, but this is the first thing that comes to mind. You're on a date with a young lady and, you know, you guys are having a good time or something. And maybe she does something. It could be anything, right? That if you were dating somebody in the West, you would look at it in an appalling fashion, right? Oh my God, I can't believe you did this. Maybe you saw no bitch burped at the table or something like that. It could be anything, right? Um, but although it happens with somebody who you're in your current status, you know, somebody in the East and something, you don't necessarily take it to heart or you kind of just brush it over as... Opposed to if it happened with somebody in the West, you wouldn't let it slide as easy. I've known that foreigners have done that because, again, they have the mindset at least it's not as bad as the West, right? I'm not saying that I'm guilty of it from that standpoint, but I'm guilty of it from the fact of comparisons. And sometimes they just can't compare, right? We have this tendency to just compare everything. Well, you know, the Philippines is this versus the West, the women in the West versus women in the East and stuff like that. And we all do it. We genuinely all do it. But in that regard, I feel like there's a lot of us that overlook the fact that whether you like it or not, y'all, all women got flaws, <laughs> right? They all got flaws. I'm not saying I'm perfect either, but overall, all women got their own flaws and shit. I can come up with a complete list of things that I've noticed dating Filipinas that I think would really turn a lot of foreigners off, right? You know, same with women in the West, of course. But we have to stop doing this comparison shit because when we start comparing, again, we either overlook flaws or we let a lot of shit slide. And y'all can't sit there and tell me that y'all don't let a lot of stuff slide, right? <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard guys say things in the past that have kind of just made me scratch what no hair I got on my chinny chin chin like for example a guy was dating a girl or something and I don't remember what she did but he was like well you know at least she's not like these overweight women in the west or something he says something to that effect and I was like so you mean to tell me you're willing to overlook some shit that could potentially in my opinion be considered a red flag just because She's not like this, you know, heavy set young lady that may have come from the West, right? And when you think about it, a lot of foreigners do it. Like, there's a lot of things that you let slide. If you're an OG and you're a pen for life, a lot of y'all just ain't willing to accept shit. If you're a red pill or whatever it may be, whatever uh, ideologies you subscribe to, SYSBM, whatever it is, you know, maybe you guys have a different thought on certain things, but 
with some of the foreigners who are choosing to, you know, fully invest themselves in the dating aspect of living in a place like the Philippines or Japan or places like that, you know, there are certain things that I've noticed that my, not my, well, yeah, I've let it happen once or twice in my life before earlier on, you know, some things that we kind of let slide, right? That certain women do, but y'all don't sit there and hold them as accountable for some of the shit that they do, as opposed to how some people just be dogging and bad mouthing some of the young ladies in the West and just holding them completely accountable. And y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. A lot of people who are from this part of the world, you know, the West and shit, you know, maybe you've dealt with bad situations with women or whatever it may be, especially if it was real bad. You know, maybe you got used or, you know, maybe something happened and, you know, you just felt like, you know, this person treated you like shit or whatever it may be. You're always going to compare. And when you start doing the comparisons, I personally believe that 99.9% .9 of the times when you're comparing women in the East, if you're dating them to women in the West, you'll probably find that the woman in the East will likely be more suitable, right? And the reason that is is psychologically because you've probably had just horrible fucking experiences with women in the West, right? Now, again, the comparisons don't help you because they overlook red flags that a lot of foreigners don't take into consideration when they're actually in their date in this woman, right? Oh my God, this girl is gorgeous in your eyes, right? She's beautiful. And, you know, even if the same shit was happening in the West, if you're dealing with a beautiful woman, there are probably some things that you'll likely let slide, all right? Because she looked good, right? I mean, come on now, let's be real. We're all human. A lot of people let beautiful women slide on a lot of shit that they think there's a chance they can get it in, right? Just just, just being real. That's just, just a man's perspective. You know, you'll let some shit slide if you think there's an opportunity for you to get that. So same rules apply, especially abroad, you know? And what I think we need to do is we got to stop this comparison shit and we just need to go in there with an open mind to everything. Because I promise you, you live there long enough, you're going to find some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna find some shit about some of these people that you may not like right it's not gonna always be perfect i told you give it time you'll start to you know crack through the shell and you know whatever whatever facade you created for yourself in reference to what you think certain people are going to be like it just ain't the reality anymore it ain't and when you start to see it for, from that you'll start to be like well okay now i got the clear lens Right. It's not coming from a place where I'm hating on shit and past trauma or whatever it is or past experiences dealing with women in a certain country. Right. I'm no longer on that vibe anymore. I'm no longer worried about that. Now I can see the women in the country for what they really are. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. I do believe that you'll find that women in the Philippines, for the most part, you know, they're exactly what you would hope they would be. And they're probably exactly what every other YouTuber has subscribed to or has told you about them, right? I mean, myself included, I've had very rare bad experiences dealing with, you know, Filipinas and stuff like that. So, you know, a lot of what guys say, you can pretty much say that's close to about as accurate as it's going to get. And that's not just me. That's damn near any foreigner that's ever dated a Filipina, you know, with positive outcomes, right? If you got scammed or something like that, well, that's a whole different story for another day. But I just want you guys to understand that we've, as foreigners, have got to stop this comparison aspect. We've got to sit there and stop fucking saying, well, at least they're not as bad as women in the West, right? Because you hear guys say that. They may not say it out loud to where everybody can hear it, but you probably know at least one other foreigner that you've come across that has had that vibe or mentality about them. And when you do that, like I said, you start to create or start to overlook certain things that may be, you know, red flags. It could be a jealousy thing. It could be something like that, you know? Maybe that girl's a little bit too damn clingy. But you just think, ah, it's because she loved me or some shit, <laughs> right? Because maybe the girl you dated in the West wasn't clingy or wasn't on your jock or something like that. So, you know, maybe a Filipina being on you like that may not be for the best of reasons. Again, like I said, there are red flags that a lot of guys are looking. I don't want you guys to be a part of that vibe, right? So, guys, let's stop with the comparison shit. Open-mindedness, like I said, I'm guilty of it too, so I'm not sitting there acting like I'm not a part of this or haven't been a part of this. I've probably made videos even in the past. I would hope that I was coming from it from a clearer mind state when I made those videos. I haven't watched them in a while. But, you know, you just got to stop that part. Give yourself an opportunity to at least get to know whatever the environment is, adjust accordingly for yourself. You know, whatever you feel necessary to do. 
Make it happen, Captain. Just make it happen. All right? It's been a good doc, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to share, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been a good doc, man. Y'all know what time it is. Time for me to go and get to getting. With that being said, good doc is officially out. At least, Nico. Which means I am going. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Bye bye. Peace.